everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by, welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you a boxed cake hack that you are going to love. Box cakes are pretty good anyway, but they're not as good as they could be. And this hack that I'm bringing to you today is gonna take this cake from being just a regular old boxed cake to a cake that tastes like something that you got from the bakery. This hack is a hack that I did not come up with. It's one that I have been doing for years and years and years. For as long as I've been making box cakes, I've been doing it. And I really don't know where I got this hack from, but I just wanna be clear, it's not mine. So if it's one you've heard of, I'm not claiming it. I'm just showing you how great this cake hack is because it is one that's gonna leave people asking you where you got the cake and if you really made it yourself. It's so easy to do and we're gonna use a boxed cake and just simply change up some of the ingredients that you add to the cake mix. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and let me show you how I take this boxed cake from being just a plain old cake to something everybody's gonna love. So this cake hack can really be done with any boxed cake, but I found that using a cake that is a super moist, that already has pudding in the mix, you kind of get the best outcome. So that's the one I'll be using today. So I'm gonna start off just by dumping the cake mix into a bowl. And instead of using one and one fourth cups of water, I'm gonna use one and one fourth cup of milk. If you wanna use low fat, whole milk, reduced fat, it's your choice. And instead of adding a half a cup of vegetable oil, we're not doing that. I'm gonna add two whole sticks of melted butter. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add that to the mix as well. On the box, it says to use three eggs, large eggs. I'm gonna use four large eggs. If you have small eggs, you can go with five. Now, even though there's pudding in the mix, I am adding an instant chocolate pudding because I'm using a chocolate cake. So whatever cake you're using is the pudding you wanna use. You're gonna wanna add three ounces of the powdered pudding to your mix. Now, I could only find this almost six ounce box, so I'm gonna go with just a bit over half of the pudding mix, and I'm gonna add that to the bowl as well. Then just take my electric mixer, if you want a whisk, you can, and I'm just gonna mix everything and get it good and incorporated together. I gotta say, Dollar Tree's really had some really great quality foil pans by Jiffy. I picked up a bunch of them. Today I'm gonna be using the square ones, and I am not one who likes to use oil or butter and flour to grease my pans. I just don't like the coating it puts on the outside of the cake. So I'm just gonna go with a good old nonstick spray. Then I'm just gonna split my mix up into the two pans and you can see that the cake mix, the consistency is very different than what it is when you use the water and the oil. It really is a thicker batter when you use the ingredients that I've added to the mix. Once I've got the mix split up between the two pans, I'm gonna pop these in the oven at 350 degrees. Now, because there's not instructions for a square pan, I'm just gonna go with the nine inch round pan. So I'm gonna set my timer for 25 minutes and I'm gonna check my cakes at 25 minutes with a toothpick or a knife and see if I need to go a few minutes longer. It took exactly 28 minutes and would you look at how amazing these cakes look yes they're splitting on the top i'm not a cake person so i'm not sure if that was because it overcooked or not but i don't really care because these cakes are going to taste amazing i think they look absolutely beautiful and to me they look a bit different 
using the ingredients that I used versus using the oil, water, and the three eggs. Now let's put this cake together. I've let these cool for a couple of hours. You can see that the cake came away from the sides of the pan. So just using a plate, I'm gonna flip my cake over and I'm gonna use this flat side. I'm not gonna worry about cutting any of the cake off to make it perfectly shaped because this is for my family. And using some of Betty Crocker's rich and creamy chocolate icing, that's what I'm gonna use for the filling in the center. If you wanna use a cream cheese frosting or a pudding or your own concoction, go for it. But we are a chocolate loving family. So we wanted to not only make this a triple chocolate cake, but a quadruple chocolate cake. And I think that just adding a layer of the icing in the middle, it is delicious. So once I add that layer in the middle, I'm gonna go ahead and place my other cake on top. And I'm gonna place the top of the cake down so I get that flatter part of the cake on the top. And again, I'm not cutting my cake because I don't wanna waste it and it's just for the family. If I was making this cake for somebody, I would definitely go that extra step and try to make it as neat as possible, but because this cake is really gonna be gone tonight, I'm just leaving it the way it is and it's gonna come out just fine. Once I've got it placed on top, I'm gonna take my icing and I'm gonna fill in the sides, that gap where the two cakes meet before I ice the top. And I found that if you kind of fill those sides in, fill in that gap, that your icing comes out a bit better. Now, I'm sure that so many of you are going to tell me that I am doing this all wrong, but I personally don't have any cake decorating tools. I just have what I have. It works for me. If you're gonna decorate this for somebody, I found that you don't really need all the fancy cake decorating tools. I like to just go ahead and ice my cake, and if you wanna smooth out this icing, an easy way to do that, another really cool hack, is if you go ahead and put your cake in the fridge and let that icing harden up a bit from getting cold and then you take your spatula, your plastic spatula, dip it in some warm water and run it over your icing, it smooths it out and it almost gives it a fondant look and it really dresses up the cake, it makes it look less homemade and then you can easily add some flowers to the top, add some writing if you wanted to. But like I said, this is our after dinner cake tonight. And so I am just slopping this on. I'm gonna make it a bit neat, but I'm not doing anything fancy because it is, like I said, gonna be gone almost tonight. There might be just a small section left for Kayla and Allie and I tomorrow, but there are five of us that are gonna be eating this cake tonight and it is going to be delicious. Now, if you wanna leave this out at room temperature, you can for a bit, but because there is milk in it and the egg, I suggest storing it covered in the fridge. Jeff doesn't like his cake cold. All of us, Ray, Kayla, and Allie and I, we like our cake cold. And so I will cut a slice off for Jeff and set it out an hour or two before we're gonna eat it because that's just my Jeff. He likes a room temperature cake. Now look at that. I don't think it looks too bad. It's not the best cake, but let me tell you, it tastes the best and this is a hack that you are going to love. I challenge you to do this. Most grocery stores have all of these items in stock and I am promising you that this cake is going to taste more different than any box cake you've ever had in your life because of the added ingredients. And I am promising you again that if this is a cake that you make and you take to a family get together when we all get to go out of our homes and hug our families and see our families and have a nice family dinner, everybody is going to love this cake and they are not gonna believe that you made it and they're gonna want the recipe because it tastes that good. And again, this is one that you can do in any flavor cake, just alter the pudding.
How easy is that? And I wish that you had smell vision or taste television and that you could taste this right along with me and smell how great it is. You can just see by the consistency of the cake and the look of the cake how different it is. It is an amazing cake. It is one that is easy to do, budget friendly, doesn't take much time at all. And like I said at the beginning, it is one that everybody is going to love. So the next time you're at the grocery store or you've got your grocery order that you're putting in online, grab yourself a cake and make yourself and everybody in your home one of these box cakes because I guarantee they're gonna love it. So that brings me to today's video because today I am bringing to you a boxed cake, but this is not just any boxed cake. This is a boxed cake hack that you are going to love because I am gonna be showing you how to take just a regular old box cake and you're gonna turn it into one of the best cakes you've ever had. Now, this is not a recipe that is mine. I really don't even know where I saw it or where I found it, but it's one that I've been doing for years and I was getting ready to make a cake because Kayla and Allie both really wanted a triple quadruple chocolate cake and they wanted one that I've made from home because it's their favorite and I thought, you know what, this isn't a video that I've ever brought to you before, so it's one that I'm gonna bring to you now. When I tell you that this is a hack that you are not gonna wanna miss, I am not lying to you because I promise you that I am going to show you how to turn just a regular box cake into a cake that everybody is gonna love. So let's not waste any more time, let's jump into it and let me show you just how easy it is to turn this boxed cake into a cake that tastes like something that came from a bakery just by changing up a few of the added ingredients that you add to this cake, this box cake that it says on the back. Let's jump into it. Okay, let me close out this video real quick. Okay. No, I wanted to close it out. What? This video. Wait, it means you have to go that way. <laughs> Wait until you see what you edit. Huh? <laughs> do you already have ideas of what you're gonna do? Were you in the back doing so? Okay, so more bloopers. This is the life of filming while everybody's at home and Kayla has nothing to do. I did not even see it because I don't look in the viewfinder when I talk to you. I look right down the nose of the camera. Oh my word. I hope you all enjoyed today's box cake hack. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Make sure to stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay positive. And bye for now, everybody.